Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn what is inheritance in Scala and how we can use inheritance in Scala. So classes in Scala can be extended, creating the classes which retains the characteristics of a base class or a super class. This process of extending a class from another class is called inheritance. Now inheritance involves two types of classes. One is called superclass and the other is called subclass. The subclass inherits the member of superclass on top of which it can add its own members. So let me give you an example. So let's say we have a series of classes to describe the kind of polygons. One class is rectangle and other class is triangle. Now we can define this polygon as a superclass and rectangle and the triangle as its subclasses. So rectangle is going to extend from this polygon class and triangle is going to extend from the polygon class also. So this is called the superclass here which is polygon and the rectangle and the triangle classes are called subclasses. Now these subclasses are going to retain some characteristics from this polygon class and in addition they can define their own member variables and member method. Now the question arises when you can use inheritance. Now when there is a relationship between subclass and superclass which satisfies is a keyword then you can use inheritance so for example rectangle is a polygon also triangle is a polygon in other cases for example you can define a shape class as a superclass and then you can define a rectangle and circle and other shapes as its subclasses now in this scenario what is the common properties which are possessed by the rectangle and the triangle? The common property here is the area of both of them. So we can define this area in the polygon class, which is our superclass, and then we can override this area method inside the rectangle class and the triangle class. Now enough of the theory, let's go to the practical example and let's see how we can recreate this example using our Scala program. So for that, I'm going to create a new Scala project. So new Scala project and the name of the project I'm going to give as Scala classes. And then I'm going to click finish, which is going to create my Scala classes project. Now in here, in this project, you will see that there is a source directory. So we are going to first of all create a package here so just right click on the source and then just uh, choose new and then click on package and the package name which we want to give here is inheritance let's say and i'm going to click finish here which is going to create this package now inside this inheritance package i'm going to create three classes one is the polygon class so let me create first class which is uh, polygon class which is a super class in our case and then I'm going to create a second class which is a rectangle class which is a subclass and the third class I'm going to create here is going to be called a triangle class so I'm going to just choose new Scala class and the triangle class so now we have three classes here one is polygon other is rectangle and third is triangle so let's just go to the polygon class first of all and in here we can define a common method which is area so i'm going to just write uh, def area which is going to return a double value and i'm going to initialize this area with 0.0, .0 for example so the default value of area will be zero now here we also need a main method for our project so what we are going to do is we are going to just write uh, object polygon and then we will define the main method inside this polygon object 
and inside this main method we can uh, just call this polygon class so for example we can just define var poly is equal to new polygon so up to here you already know how classes work and how you can create an instance out of class now we will define a method inside this object which is going to be called uh, print area which is going to print the area of the class which is given to it and as a parameter we are going to pass the class instance so for example p and p is going to be of type polygon and inside this print area function we are going to just use print ln method and then using this uh, p instance of polygon class we can print the area of that class so now when we call this print area inside our main method and when we pass this poly instance to this method and when we run this program so i'm going to right click and then i'm going to just click run as scala application and click ok which is going to run this uh, application and it prints 0, 0.0 which is an expected result because we have initialized the initial value of area as 0, 0.0 now let's go to our rectangle class and in order to inherit the characteristics of polygon class we need to use extends keyword here and we need to extend from the polygon class okay so here polygon is a super class and rectangle is a subclass and rectangle is inheriting from the polygon class in a similar way we can also go to the triangle class and we can extend here from the polygon class which means triangle is extending from polygon which means that triangle is inheriting the characteristics from the polygon class and if you notice i haven't added any method or any member variable till now into my triangle class or the rectangle class now let's go to the polygon class and here we are going to create an instance of our rectangle class so we are going to just write var rect is equal to new rectangle and this time we are going to use this rectangle class instead of this poly into our print area function and when we run the code the result will be same and why is that because there is no area method inside the rectangle class because it's inheriting from the polygon class so this area method in the rectangle class is available from the polygon class so that's why it's not giving us error because rectangle is inheriting from the polygon class and that means all the public members of the polygon class are also available inside the rectangle class so we can call from the rectangle instance the area method which is there in the super class now in order to make this code little bit logical we can uh, just add a method area into this rectangle class so i'm going to just define uh, area method into this rectangle class which is going to give, give us the double value and area of uh, rectangle is what multiplication of uh, width and the height right so we need to somehow provide the width and height to this rectangle class and this we can do from the primary constructor so i'm going to just write var width which is going to be of type uh, double height which is also going to be of uh, type double so from the primary constructor we are going to provide the width and height for this area method now if you see carefully this gives us error because there is a rule when you are extending in scala which is method overriding requires a special keyword which is override that means you need to write a keyword called override here in order to override the method into your rectangle class so here in your rectangle class you are overriding the area method from the polygon class and when you go to the polygon class this rectangle will give error because we need to now give the width and height here so let's say we will just give 55.2 as width 
and then 20.0 as height and you can see now the error is gone so we can run the program and now it gives us the multiplication of width and height which is 1104 the same we can do in the triangle class also so we are going to use the primary constructor which takes width and height and then area here will be first of all we need to override define area and then we are going to just say that this area is uh, our double and what is the area of a triangle it's the multiplication of width and height divided by 2 so I'm going to just write width multiplied by height divided by 2 which is going to give the area of the triangle so let's use this triangle and create an instance out of this uh, triangle so I'm going to just write var try is equal to new triangle and this also takes uh, two parameters width and height let's give the same parameter here 55.2 as width and 20.0 as the height and we will use the print area method once again and this time we will pass the instance of triangle into this print area class and we are going to run our code which is going to give exactly half the area of the rectangle so this is how you can use inheritance in scala i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now